Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm just an American guy on a journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Today, we're going to react to How Do You Become a Lord? Before we get started, I just want to let everybody know I'm dealing with some crazy fall allergies right now. Uh, it's making it to the point I feel like I can barely open my eyes and uh, my my I'm just so stuffy. And I'm sure you've noticed over the last few videos that I've kind of sounded a little off, and uh, that's what it is. Anyway, I just want to let you guys know <laughs> I'm not sick with a cold. I just I have some really bad allergies right now to I think it's ragweed, but hopefully that'll be over within the next few weeks. I can get back to normal. But anyways, guys, enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and check out How Do You Become a Lord? Six Unboring is brought to you by The Great Courses Plus. The House of Lords, or to give it its proper title, the Right Honourable, the Lord Spiritual and Temporal of the United Kingdom of Great <laughs> Britain and Northern Ireland in Parliament Assembled, .gov.uk, is a big room in that building there, and it's full of lords. Lords, also known as peers, have a really important job. They look at the ideas that the MPs come up with for new laws and check the fine details to make sure they're just right. If they're not happy, they send them back and say, do it again. Being a peer is brilliant. You get to wear fancy red robes. People have to call you Lord something. You get 300 pounds expenses per day. You can fly. You're allowed to sleep during debates and you get to keep the job for life. Wait, I thought they didn't get paid. So the expenses, I wonder what the expenses are for, but 300 pounds a day? What is this? 2,100 pounds a week. A pound is near, nearly, uh, well, okay, that makes sense. That's about, you know, so I say if they're the equivalent of the Senate, sort of. I mean, our senators get paid like, I don't know, 175000 $200,000 a year. So that's actually, yeah, that'd actually be lower than that. So, but I, I just thought they didn't get paid. Hmm. So, how do you get to be one? One, be born a hereditary yeah. peer. If your dad is a hereditary peer, you get to take his place when he dies. <laughs> this used to be only for men, but it was changed to include women in 1860, sorry, 1963, as long as they don't have any brothers. Two, be an Anglican bishop. If you're a bishop in the Church of England, you automatically get a seat in the House of Lords, because if you know how to run a church, you know how to run the I did not know that. I didn't, I didn't Three, know that. be okay. chosen by the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. Prime Ministers can stuff the House with as many Lords as they like during their time in office. If you want to be picked, though not essential, it helps if you've donated money to their party. Now, if to you any of this seems surprising or archaic or batshit, then there's good news. There have been some changes over the past few years yeah, to drag the less House hereditary of peers, right? into the 19th century. One, the number mm. of hereditary peers is now limited oh. to 92. Okay. I By the way, more that doesn't mean there are 92 remaining that we're waiting for to die. When one family dies out, the other lords have a vote to replace them from a pool of about 800 aristocrats. So there will always be 92 of them. Until it changes Two, again. Leaders of other religions get to be lords. The 26 Church of England bishops have now been joined by leaders of other faiths. One Methodist, one Scottish Presbyterian, one Church of Ireland, and two rabbis. Three, the Prime Minister has been asked nicely not to give so many peerages. <laughs> Four, in 2001, they introduced a new way of getting lords into the house. The Appointments Commission. The Appointments Commission's job is to pick people from the real world outside the usual batch of ex-cabinet ministers. These people's peers are chosen for their skills and experience, such as if they're experts in law or science or the arts mm. or beer. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's, that's assuring that that's the a House good of idea. Lords is truly representative of the British people it serves, with the exception of the 92 hereditary peers, 26 yeah. godbrothers and 620 life peers chosen by the Prime Minister who uh. ultimately have the final say on the laws that govern our country despite not being elected, which arguably is a positive thing because it means they're less caught up in party politics and can concentrate on getting the job done, but it also makes them completely unaccountable and the paltry reforms in 1999 served only to legitimise how inherently undemocratic the entire institution is and delay any meaningful reform for the foreseeable future whilst we continue to labor under the assumption that we live in a democracy and still have a monarch for, 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 you know what i can't be bothered to talk about this anymore the end oh he isn't done okay. son i'm dying yes father you are <coughs> i'm going to die son i know father it's a thundering nuisance come closer closer <coughs> closer <laughs> There's something really important I want to say to you. <laughs> what?
What is it, Father? The Great Courses Plus is an online video learning service with lectures from top-notch <laughs> professors from Ivy League universities. There are more than 8,000 slash Jay Foreman. The Great Courses Plus. Whoopee! <laughs> wow. I think it's only right that you honor my dead father and click the link in the description below to start your free trial with The Great Courses Plus. Honor my dead father by clicking the link in the description below to start your free trial today. <laughs> All right, so that was Jay Foreman. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to uh, check out some of his uh, government videos, and uh, so, and actually this specific video, and um, so um, that was interesting. That guy's hilarious. I'm definitely going to check out some more. I see why you guys recommend him for this type of content because he is he's very entertaining. Um, he's he's really funny. So um, yeah, definitely a good guy to kind of learn some stuff from. So. Um, but I pretty much knew most of this. I learned it in the other videos, but for some reason, I didn't know that they still got paid. And um, I didn't know that it was only 92. For some reason, I thought there was still more. I probably did learn it was 92, but in my head, I thought there were, I thought there was still like 100 and some, 180 or something like that. But I don't know. But anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to leave your comments and suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe to join me on my journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Until next time, peace.